Hi, I'm Julie, and this is Stamp with Julie Baum. This past week we had Stamp Club, and this is May of 2024. One of the projects that we made is this cute little corner bookmark. I'm going to show you how to make it right now. Okay, to make our bookmark, we're going to start with a piece of designer series paper. And I have chosen paper from um, the 12 by 12, a little latte. I hesitate because the stamp set is called Latte Love and the paper is called a little latte, I think. Um, we're starting with a piece of that and the paper that I'm going to show you today is a different print than we used at Stamp Club on Wednesday. This is the print that we used at Club, this kind of swirl pattern with the little um, latte art hearts, okay? But honestly, I have used that print completely up, so I'm using a different one today, but the steps are the same so it doesn't matter at all. Then I have a two inch piece of early espresso cardstock, two inches square, and I have a piece of white cardstock that is one and three quarter inches square. Now I went ahead to shorten the time of today's video and I pre die cut my two little cups. So there are two dies um, that are both cup shaped in the set of dies and it's kind of nice because one handle goes one way and the other goes the other way i thought that was a nice touch so i did one yellow and one lost lagoon all right so there's my cups and then there's this little die which at first glance you might not know what it's for but this is going to cut out the little sliver that actually is the coffee in the cup. So I have those tiny little pieces right here that I'm keeping in place so that I don't lose them. They're just so tiny. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of stamping and I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna move those little pieces onto here where I can see them, especially those little um, coffee slivers. These are um, punched out of pecan pie. Okay, that's the color of that. And then we have Lemon Lolly and Lost Lagoon. Wow, that's a lot of L's. Lost Lagoon and Lemon Lolly. Okay, so on our little piece of white is where we're going to do our stamping. So I'm going to stamp the words that say, you're the best part of my day and use pecan pie ink. And stick with me to the end of the video because I'll show you a couple of variations, even um, a variation of this one, like depending on where you put your words. So on this particular uh, version, I'm going to put my words up here near the top, like so. Then the next part of stamping that I'm going to do is with Early Espresso ink. And I'm going to stamp with the little coffee beans. Now, in this stamp set, there's this image, which is the four coffee beans in a little group. And then there's also a single coffee bean stamp. So that um, might come in handy on other projects that I will be teaching. But today I'm just gonna use the little group of beans. And I have a piece of scratch paper here that I'm just gonna tuck under the edge of my white piece because I want to stamp my beans off the edge of this white paper. So I'm gonna put one there and one over here. All right, then to finish filling those beans in, I'm just gonna use my Stampin' Blend. This is the pecan pie marker and this one happens to be the dark. So I think the dark pecan pie coupled with that early espresso outline gives a pretty authentic looking bean. So it just takes a moment to fill in those coffee beans so that they're finished and look really cute. All right, that's all the stamping that we have to do. 
Then as I mentioned, I did my die cutting ahead of time. So now I'm going to put my coffee cups together and I wanna show you an easy way to get those tiny little slivers um, that are going to actually be the coffee into your tiny cups. So I'm flipping this over so they are right side up. And then I'm gonna take one cup at a time, put a little bit, and I mean a little, bit of liquid glue right up here. I mean, it's kind of funny. When you see the cup, you don't think too much about it, except it really does look funny um, without having the coffee in it. So I'm glad that that small die was included to give us that piece. So I'm gonna put the tiniest bit of glue there. Then I'm going to take my take your pick tool with the little gummy end over here, and that is going to pick up that tiny little die cut, nice and easy like, and then I can lay it into place. All right, so I'm gonna hold that until it sticks. And there we have our complete cup and it's looking the way that it should. Okay, let's do that on the second one. Once again, a little tiny bit of glue. I don't want it oozing out the sides, so that's why I'm being careful to just use a little bit. And use my tool. I will tell you, it's way easier to pick it up with your take your pick tool than trying to pick it up with your fingers. <laughs> Some of you are pretty good at using your um, cross lock tweezers. You might be able to do it that way but I think that this was the easiest way. Then another way that you can press this into place is to put the cap back on, and then you can use that to press. That's a good little method too. All right, there's our two cups. I chose the um, Lemon Lolly and the Lost Lagoon, but I will show you examples where we changed up the cup colors. Okay, and then I'm just gonna lay these on here and see about where I want them. All right, that's gonna be cute. So let's glue those into place. All right, there's my lemon lolly. The handle is hanging off a little bit, which is just fine. And now the Lost Lagoon cup. Like so. All right, this little decorated piece now that we've completed is going to get attached to that early espresso square. So now we've done our stamping, our die cutting, our decorating, and so forth. Now, um, at this point, even though it might be lo look really cute to add some bling or a little bow or something, keep in mind this is going to be a bookmark and we don't want any extra thickness. We don't want any embellishments that are going to be bumpy. So I'm just leaving this completely flat. All right, this is done. Our decoration part is done. Now let's actually create the bookmark part. So this piece of designer series paper is three inches by five inches, and we are going to score it at two and a half inches. With the paper in both the landscape direction and in the portrait direction. All right, once your scoring is finished, I recommend you go ahead and fold both folds and press in your crease with your bone folder. There's that one and this one. Okay, so I'm opening my paper flat again I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half this way. The small end is at the top and then the large square is at the bottom. I'm going to take my scissors and make a diagonal cut starting right here at the, the crease or the score line and just cut in like that. 
and I need to match that on this side, which I think it's awkward to cut this way. So I'm just gonna flip it over and cut. So now I have my mirror image cuts on that little flap. Now you can take your little piece and open it. By the way, I didn't mention it. This is going to be the front of my bookmark and the little plaid is going to be the inside that just peeks out. So at this point, it would be important to figure that out so that you know which little tab to cut off and which direction to do your folding and gluing. So at this point now, I'm going to remove this tab completely. And I say completely because instead of just cutting on the score line, which you might be tempted to do, I want you to go ahead and take a little extra off so I'm going to cut to the left of my score line so that as I am removing this piece, I'm removing the tab with its little score line. And you can see that here, that little score line is still part of this piece. That's what we want. In doing that, it's going to make this fold up nice and neat and not be too bulky. I'll also mention that I have a whole video on making these corner bookmarks and I will put a link up here in this right corner if you'd like to go watch that video. To the purpose of today's video was to show you the actual design that we made at Stamp Club, which is not in that other video. All right, now I'm gonna flip this over and the section that still has the tab attached is going to get a diagonal fold. I'm gonna bring the corner up to this side and I want to, instead of going right to the corner, nice and neat, I'm gonna skimp a little and not quite go to the corner. All right, Fing finger press that, and then you can follow that up with your bone folder. Again, the reason for that is just eliminating any bulk because now what we're gonna do is fold this piece over, which it does easily, and we're gonna fold this piece down and seal that flap. So I'm going to, add my liquid glue here in a small careful amount so it doesn't come oozing out and I've got that flap sealed on the back when you turn it over you can see that we've created our little corner bookmark this is going to go on like if this was the page of a book this is going to fit onto the corner of the page like so. Okay, we can attach our decorated part. This is going to go right on here, and I want to be careful to not get any glue on this part because it'll close my pocket. So I want to only put glue on this triangle or this angle. I'm not even gonna quite go halfway. I'm gonna stay a little clear and just do this little triangle area and then line it up and just sort of center it and press that into place. So in doing that and being careful with my glue, I've left my pocket totally accessible so that you can tuck it onto the page of your book. All right, this is complete. It looks so cute with all of the coffee theme elements. All right, so at Club, as I mentioned, we used a different paper and you had the option of doing your words at the bottom and adding the cups at the top, or like we did today, putting the words at the top and the cups at the bottom. So these are all basically the same, just different color cups and so forth, um, different positioning. Now I did make another one earlier this week, again with the coffee theme, and instead of doing these little die cut cups, and instead of this stamp, I changed it up a little bit. I used this stamp, this one's on me, um, and that little flagged little piece behind there. And then this cup of coffee is just a fussy cut right out of the designer series paper. So this was just a different look. I still used a two inch square piece of paper here. This one's Lost Lagoon. And I used a one and three quarter inch square here, but turned it on the diagonal to accommodate my cup a little bit better. And it's just a, a little bit of a different look. So there you have it. That was our coffee themed corner bookmark from Stamp Club in May of 2024. 
Thank you for watching this video and do be sure and open the description box below this video and I will put a lot of helpful information there including some dimensions and also where to find the shopping information for any of these products. Until next time, happy stamping!